All right, we've got a trade. I am in Brooklyn. I've got a shirt on. I've got a jacket. I've got a tie. I even have pants on. I do not have flip-flops and shorts like I've been accustomed to. I am in, uh, I guess, my former home, the Barclays Center, doing draft prep work. We've got a... Um, a pre-draft show tonight at nine o'clock which is wednesday night and then the draft of course is on on thursday as you can see the stage is right behind me as far as when the draft uh, picks are going to be announced i was just upstate on stage doing a little rehearsal work and we've got a trade right we've got a trade where jeremy grant from the pistons is going to uh portland uh the the trailblazers acquire him in that trade exception that was we always talked about that trade exception that was created in the cj mccollum trade um 20 million dollars goes into that 20.8 million dollar slot Grant will now go into the last year of his contract. He's at $20.9 million. He is extension eligible. Four years, $112 million, six months after the trade gets finalized. So when you're looking at it, we're in late June. June 23rd is tomorrow. Maybe the deal happens today on, on Wednesday. Right before Christmas, uh, Grant would be eligible for an extension. From a pick standpoint, Detroit stays at five. Portland stays at seven. It doesn't cost them anything. It costs the uh, Trailblazers that 2025 first they acquired from New Orleans. That was via Milwaukee. Stay with me here. Um, it is protected top four in 2025. So let's say the Bucks, all hell breaks loose and Giannis isn't there and Middleton's not there and they already have the second pick in a draft. Well, Detroit gets nothing. That pick will go away. It's not contingent on second. Um, the Pistons and the um, Trailblazers swap seconds. Um, Detroit now has 36. New Orleans has, um, New Orleans, Portland has 46. So a little bit of a swap there. Uh, they also got, um, Detroit got a, a future two from the Trailblazers here. So uh, Damian Lillard gets his running mate here. Um, they're all, as I said, you have the seventh pick also. You've got uh, restricted free agent Anthony Simons to figure out, Yosef Nurkic. $44 million below the luxury tax. I never thought this team was going to be a, uh, a team under the cap. Never thought there were going to be players for DeAndre Ayton and Zach Levine and guys like that. What you'll see now is the Josh Hart contract become fully guaranteed on um, the 25th of June. They've got a decision uh, in uh, the second week of, uh, I believe it is the July 10th on Eric Bledsoe. He's got $3.9 million guaranteed. But as a Trailblazers fan, including, you know, Simons, who's a restricted free agent, I would work with $44 million to fit Simons and Nurkic under that. And I think that you will be able to do that. I think Simons is in that 20 to $22 million range. I think Nurkic is in that 10 to $12 million range. Um, and, and there is flexibility as far as to be able to stay um, under the luxury tax, keep, Jer you know, certainly you have Jeremy Gant Grant, keep Josh Hart. You've got the seventh pick in a draft. I like it for Portland. How do you kind of accelerate the rebuild, right? Without giving up the seventh pick in a draft. Um, from Detroit's perspective, they get that first from um, the Milwaukee in 2025, as I mentioned, top four protected. Um, now they are, hey, they are the leader in the clubhouse when it comes to free agency. Uh, potentially could have $47 million, $47 million in cap space. You can still bring back Marvin Bagley, the third on a, on a $12 million contract, and go out and get DeAndre Ayton on an offer sheet here. So they are going to be the interesting team to watch when we get into free agency. They are the leader in the clubhouse. $47 million in cap space can potentially can create some more. Um, they still have the fifth pick in a the draft. They have, now, they have now five and 36 um, so they are, they're going to be the most intriguing team. Certainly Grant losing him hurts for the short term, but the likelihood is that if you weren't comfortable giving him an extension now, um, then you're best moving off him uh, and you, you were able to recoup a future one. As the season goes on, the value of Jeremy Grant goes down. So you're looking at certainly now, what are we looking at, you know, with the fifth pick in the draft? Is it a player like Ben Matherin? Is it Shaden Sharp? Is it, um, I don't think Jaden Ivey gets there. I think he's at four. Um, plenty of options in Detroit. I understand it from both sides. Win now with Portland, with Lillard's future. Now he's extension eligible. Remember for that big deal, over $100 million for two years. Um, the, the goal and they accomplished it was they kept the seventh pick and they traded that that um, that pick they acquired from New Orleans via Milwaukee. Remember, there's always two parts to these deals or three parts to these deals. And now 
the Trailblazers from a deal in February took advantage of that Milwaukee pick, and now we're able to use it to get a player like Jeremy Grant. So I understand it from both sides. Good deal, um, and it's just a start of things. Back in Brooklyn, baby. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.